this is a um, recent new spotlight with our boy Kevin Weeks. Tell him what your rap name is. My rap name is Coach Chillin. That's where I win this me at. Thought of a projection. <laughs> Y'all quiet. Y'all quiet. No, 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 no. It's not the whole thing. Y'all quiet as fuck. Listen, I'm the director and I'm the one that's got to edit this. So y'all gonna do what I say when I tell you. Okay, cool. So, this is a recent new spotlight with my boy Kevin Weeks. Tell him what your rap name is, Kevin. My rap name is Coach Jenner. That's what I went there to be in. You know, you gotta get in there. You gotta have fun with it, man. Gotta wear the glasses and be a So, you know, the people are gonna be dying to know what exactly fuels your rap. You know, mm -hmm. like what does your talent stem from? I mean, it stem from like quasi motivation, in other words. Yeah, like essentially. What, yeah, what motivates you to well, write your bars? Well, bars. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that what the kids are calling it these days? That's what they've been calling it since ever. Boss. <laughs> I I'm, I don't know anything about rap music. That's young man's Oh uh, yeah, well, recently I lost a close friend, close friend Jakeem. And his name is Shindy Shetley. Recently lost him. I lost another friend seven months ago. So you know, just the impact in the way is my influence in rap music. Oh, that's new. <laughs> All the nervousness too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, that's hard to follow that. <laughs> when did you start rapping? Well, I've been rapping for three years now, but recently, a year ago, I started taking it serious, you know? With videos and posting music online. So how old are you? 22. Mm. 22. <clears throat> well, Twenty-three, you know, we're not old, old timers like this one. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to push thirty. Hey, listen, listen here, listen here. You damn with a snap. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I have one question before. Something that, you know, I feel like because you're the first rapper on the show, mm -hmm. you gotta give us like a scoop of what you know. What is the rap game like in Bermuda? You know, you gotta kind of walk us through because you're, you're the first one. You're mm -hmm. pioneering. You know, we haven't had any rappers on it before, mm -hmm. so gotta give us the lay down, you know? Well, you know, it's like, people in, in Bermuda, like, you know, they, they rap, but some people are not serious about it. They'll drop a song, her a video, her, but they don't keep going with it, you know, they'll eventually fall off, but me, I, before my friend died, we guys, we have a studio at our house, so we just consistent with it, but a lot of people, that's what I'm gonna say, they're not consistent with it, that's what I'm gonna say about it. But other than that, there's some people out there that's on the beam. I'm not getting loud, I'm not getting knock them, but they just need to keep keep it moving, you know? I was like, I heard, and then this person was like fighting with that duo. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. we'll be fine. Yeah, we're good. We're, we're good. We're good. This, this, yeah. is, this is a place of business. People walk in and out. <laughs> yeah, I see that. I digress. But as far as that, like, I feel like that's something that is a big problem with like art as a whole here is mm -hmm. because a lot of times people they try to juggle the art with their jobs because they got bills to pay. Yep. And you know art doesn't art don't pay the bills in Bermuda. Not mm -hmm. straight away yeah. anyway. Straight away, not at all. <laughs> if it does, if you hey, get one artist that doesn't get, get his bills smart. Color buttons. Who's where? <laughs> exactly. Case when it, when it and pays off. Okay, I just said that when it pays off, color buttons, how about that? And the keyboard, how about that? Who's where? <laughs> that football's not an art. Yes, it is. How about that? You tell it's that a to sport. The, you tell that to the Portuguese people, and they tell you it's an art. They don't just, it's not an art. It's a way of life. <laughs> that's that's not an art. He just proved my point. It, We're gonna go it, back it, to it, the um, young man. I'll slap you. <laughs> he just proved that's wrong, you children. Look at who. But gonna give me gray hairs. I do think that with that being said, mm -hmm. how do you think you would do as a rapper if you had that support from the community? Do you feel like it would obviously, you know? make it a lot easier for you to focus and hone in on your craft instead of having to pay bills, work a job. I don't know what because I, I love to do it, you know, so it's like a hobby to me. So, so if I had the type of support like that, I'll go for it and I'll give back, you know, to Bermuda if I did. Because they will wait any way possible. Mm -hmm. Any way possible. Because right now, I'm, I'm like, my, my, my most videos got 
eleven thousand views. That's just for medium views, but if you was away, it'll be a you know big difference. You know, so if I had the support from everybody, it'd be a difference. It'd be easier for me. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, and as we do in entertainment as well, you know, we know the struggle of mm -hmm. trying to. Uh, <coughs> Pave a way to make it sustainable, mm -hmm. you know, because it's, it's one thing to. Well, not everybody trying to chop your head off, <laughs> which yeah. happens us on the daily. <laughs> I feel like we're always getting strung up by somebody. <laughs> but it's a we could we kind of agree with you on that one for sure, and it's always key to understand the difference between like being an artist in a small mm -hmm. place and being an artist in a large place. Exactly, you know. And that's why I feel like a lot of times we kind of miss that. Mm -hmm. We try to go straight to the top mm -hmm. and we don't really work our way up, you know? So I see what you, you, you've been putting in that ground, right? Mm -hmm. So, so that we don't keep you here for too long. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly do you feel? We're in there for five angle? minutes. Five minutes is a long time to rap, you know? The song would have been over. <laughs> the song would have been over by now. There's long rap songs. With a feature. Unless you want to spit some bars. You need to know what a bar is. I don't know anything about rap. Awesome. Dude, I, dude, I play guitar. I'm glad you. Next. And next rap, rap don't mix with guitar. Unless you're Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> Those guys are special. They mix all the time. Snoop Dogg had a guitar. But what we were talking about. Man, that song. We were talking about another song. Snoop Dogg fight Dr. Dre with a synthesizer on the bars, making the song good, but I'm not really talking. So <laughs> Got cool. keyboards making different talk. I'll slap you. But the thing is, right? Again. With the <laughs> rap game, here, do you feel like it would be easier? For artists to break out if they were more willing to work together. Like if you had like an NWA, like a rap mm -hmm. team where it was like yeah, all well, the rap groups would pick one, that's the one you go with. Hey, that's that's it. You know what I mean? Lord Do mercy. you think that that would be more like like popular in Bermuda if you had like a group of rappers that were pushing to like put Bermuda on your map versus yeah, like, one yeah, single artist? Yeah, exactly. Because I went to the individual D trying to trying to progress the job better. So I, I understand that, but if you all work together, it would be easier. Yeah, it would. I, 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 think. I think that goes well for almost all forms of art these days. You know, everybody yeah. everybody rather fight for these scraps from the table than <laughs> work together to get the hill chicken. Mm -hmm. For real. Yeah, that. Yeah. We know, we, we know a little something about that. <laughs> Is there anything you would like to say to people maybe a little bit younger than you? That are trying to pursue. Hey, yeah, you people start rapping that for you. He's gonna ask me questions every. Am I being interviewed? Or you like, should be. Because I just reach over and break something. But my thing is, for the young people behind you mm -hmm. who are like 12, 14, who mm -hmm. are considering rap, which is just an offshoot of poetry, really, mm -hmm. what would you say to them? Don't say don't stop, man. You know, because I'm been through a lot of hard things. And it, I wanted to break, you know, but it just made me like, you know, so don't stop. Whatever, whatever your um, downfall is, don't stop. Just get over that. Hey. Yeah, that's great. Oh, you guys are crying? That's what's, wrong, that's what's wrong with these children these days. Everybody's emotional. We're like, <laughs> so emotional. It's so, because so. he doesn't appreciate art, you know, and that's the problem. That's what it is? That's true. That's what it is. But we're going to turn the camera over to this up and coming young fella and it's gonna give you some information about him and some well wishing you wanna say from <laughs> get off the camera man. yeah we gonna need well you will find my music on song clock name is Coach Driller C L O U T D R I L L A you can also look look that up on YouTube and my Instagram is Long Live Chunk that's where you're going to look at me, find some previews of videos, pictures. And I'm got upcoming acts, I've got some music, good music coming, a video coming. There's, there's a lot of tune coming for this summer. Let's wait on that.